to class 6 physical science uh, in your uh, physical science i have started with the chapter elements compounds and mixtures and i have done up uh, quite a lot of portion uh, i have explained you that what are compounds uh, how the electrolysis is taking place so these things i have gone through now in your book that is page number 54 there are written that more examples of compounds now uh, obviously water is not one and only example of compound there are more examples of compounds first example given that when a burning magnesium ribbon is introduced in a gas jar filled with oxygen it burns very brightly producing blinding white light a white powdery substance called magnesium oxide is formed due to the burning of magnesium ribbon in oxygen. Magnesium oxide is a compound formed by chemical combination of two elements, magnesium and oxygen. Now when the magnesium ribbon is being burnt in, uh, within a gas jar, which jar is actually filled up with oxygen, we can see that uh, oxygen is a gas that supports combustion. So whenever this magnesium river is burning in presence of oxygen it will burn with a very dazzling white flame and as a result as magnesium is burning in presence of oxygen so this will form a new compound what is the name of the compound that is magnesium oxide formula is MgO okay so this is another compound another example of Again another for another example is that when a piece of glowing charcoal, charcoal means a form of carbon or you can say type of coal, okay, is introduced in a gas jar which is again filled up with oxygen. This charcoal will burn more widely throwing sparks. Due to this burning, a gaseous compound called carbon dioxide is formed. Its properties are different from that of its constant elements carbon and oxygen. So, uh, anything which is burning, it should burn in presence of oxygen because without oxygen, burning cannot be completed. Okay. So, this charcoal which is containing carbon in it, it is burned in presence of oxygen to form carbon dioxide. The formula is CO2. Right. And this charcoal or anything uh, which is having carbon in it, which will be born in presence of oxygen, that thing will produce carbon dioxide. Now go to page number 55. There are some properties of charcoal, properties of oxygen and properties of carbon dioxide given. Because charcoal which was containing the carbon and oxygen, the carbon and oxygen combined form this carbon dioxide. Now this carbon dioxide, the properties of carbon dioxide is totally different from the properties of carbon and the properties of oxygen. Am I clear? So how these properties are different that we are going to see. First of all, charcoal is a black solid substance. Okay? But oxygen, it is a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas. Whereas carbon dioxide, it is a gas but colorless but having slightly pungent smell and has acidic taste. Okay, so this is the differences. Next, charcoal is combustible. Combustible means it itself burns. Oxygen, which is not combustible, but it is a supporter of combustion. And carbon dioxide, it actually uh, do what? It, it neither supports combustion uh, nor it is combustible. Okay, next number 3, the solid is highly porous and for this reason it can absorb, absorb gases, that is it can hold gas molecules on the surface and oxygen it is appreciably soluble in water, slightly heavier than air and carbon dioxide also heavier than air 1.5 times and it is also fairly soluble in water, okay. Next is that uh, charcoal having no role in respiration but oxygen it is having or it is helping in respiration and carbon dioxide it is poisonous. We cannot inhale carbon dioxide right? we exhale it. 
So these are the solid compounds. Now this compound portion is done. Now we will go to the next topic that is mixture. What is mixture? continue with the chapter. Thank you.